Welcome to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast, where we are empowering youth female athletes to play and live confidently. My name is Shay Hatto, and each week I will bring you new episodes to teach you the strategies and tools that you need in order to live a confident, empowered life both on and off the playing field. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to episode 150. That's a big, that's a big number. So I'm excited about today's episode. So most of you are either you've already started school or maybe you're just starting school this week or later on this month. So it's school time, right? So around this time, I get a lot of questions as to how do I balance school and sports and a social life, right? A lot of the times When we're in the thick of it, we forget, oh my gosh, a social life is important too. So on today's episode, we're going to get into how to balance that, how to manage your time and how to manage your energy around that so that you can be successful in school and sport while still having fun with your friends and being a teenager, right? Because that's important too. So we're going to break it down into really three big things. And we'll go really deep into these three big things. So if you're listening to this episode, like while you're in the car or whatever, um, you can come back to it, take notes. This would be a really good episode for you to really take notes on. So the first thing that we're going to go over and how to really balance all of those things and not go crazy is number one, to take responsibility for your time. And what I mean by that is that we all have the same 24, 24, sorry, 24 hours in a day. Last time I checked, right? If you have more, please let me know. But we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And you, to a point, obviously you have to go do things. You, to a point, get to choose how you get to spend that, right? And one of my biggest pet peeves is when middle schoolers, high schoolers, you guys are old enough to not have to ask your parents when everything is. So that's what I mean when I say take responsibility. You should know when you have certain assignments and tests and when your practices and when your games are like, you should take responsibility for that. Because if you don't, you're always going to rely on them. And then when you get to college, you're really going to be messed. You're going to be like screwed, (laughs) right? So really take responsibility for your time. And how we can do that is very, very simple. Number one, step one, go to Target and get a planner. Hopefully you have a planner already, maybe from school, you have a planner, right? But you have a planner and instead of just like using your planner to look nice and like, you know, write like notes and pass them back to your classmates, actually use your planner. So here's something tangible you can do is every Sunday or yeah, Sunday's a good day. Every Sunday night, um, before you're like getting ready to go to school and before you're getting ready for the week, like block off, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to plan out your week. Okay. So what I mean by plan out your week is what are the big things? What are your top priorities? When are you have big tests coming up? You have a game, uh, you have practice, you have to travel, like really write the big things in first. So what are the big things that you have to do this week? Or what are the big things you get to do this week? Right. So putting that in your planner, looking at, okay, Monday through Friday, what do I actually have? So you have a bird's eye view of what's going on. So you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I have a game. I'm not prepared, or I totally forgot I have a test. I haven't studied at all. Right. Cause that just creates a lot of stress. And the point of this is to not have so much stress. Okay. So that's the big thing is plan your top priorities first, put that in your calendar. All right. Then really important too is block off one day the whole week. So not just Monday through Friday, but block off one day or at least a half a day where you get to just go have fun where you don't have to worry about doing homework. You don't have any games. You don't have any practices. I know that may not be possible for some of you, but at least block off a half a day or a couple hours where you get to go just hang out with your friends, go have fun, just get to go be a teenager. Right. That's a very, very important. We forget about that. You are not just an athlete. You're a person. So you know, you got to balance that as well. Um, And then after you've put that, that half a day or full day of just having fun in, then you can kind of look at what are the smaller, less important tasks that you have to get done. So maybe it's just not that assignments are not important, but those are just things you have to get done that, you know, you can get done quicker, right? So what are the tasks you have to do? You have to clean your room, got to mow the lawn. Yeah. You got to send an email to your teacher. Like what are the, the small tasks that you have to get on, make sure you put those in there. 
Okay. And we're going to get into this deeper in just a minute, but make sure when you're actually going out and executing everything you've planned to do the most important things first, because if you go do the little things and then you're like, oh my gosh, that took longer than I thought. Now I don't have time to study for my test or now, like I have a game and I'm not ready for it. Right. Then that's not going to be a very good way to balance. So make sure that you do the most important things first. All right. So that's number one, take responsibility for your time. Cause it's your time. It's not your mom's time. It's not your dad's time. It's your time. All right. Number two, and I know you're going to love this one is to create more time by limiting social media. Wow. Look at it. We spend, and I say we, I mean, me too. We spend anywhere from probably two to four hours a day on social media. So you can literally create more time by limiting your social media use. So if you ever feel stressed, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to get my homework done. I feel so stressed. I never have a free moment. Look at your screen time and see how much time you're using. If you're on your phone for two, three, four, five hours a day, that's why you're stressed out because you're filling up your time with silly little social media. And not to say that you can never get on it, right? But here's my next point is why don't you limit, limit it, have screen time on it, or just plan when you can use it. Okay. Plan when you can use it. So going back to do the most important things first, here's an example of what limiting social media looks like. All right. So you're not on it during school. Of course, why would you ever be on social media during school? Cause you need to pay attention, right? But let's say after school, usually you sit on your phone, you're on YouTube, you're on TikTok, you're dancing on TikTok. Well, dancing is great, but TikTok, not so much, but you're doing that. And then you're like, oh crap, I have to get ready for practice. And then you get to practice and you're like, oh my gosh, I got to eat dinner and I got to do my homework. Cause I have an assignment due. Oh, I'm so stressed out. Okay. That's option one or option two is to get your homework done first thing, go to practice, and then everything is done. And then if you still want to spend two hours on social media, you can, but at least you got the most important things done first. Okay. So the best thing is to just limit it to less time. So you have more time, but if that's way too hard for you, at least do the most important things first and do social media later, not like when you're supposed to be in bed, but just like later. So let's say you get done with practice at seven o'clock and you have an hour before you have to get ready for bed because you go to bed at eight o'clock, I'm sure, right? Like use social media for that hour. Don't let it slip into your sleep time. Okay, so create more time by limiting social media. That's number two. And the last one, which kind of ties into this is number three, one of the most important things, if you don't do this, nothing else matters, is you have to manage your energy manage your energy. So here's what I mean by that. If you have a planner in place and you're doing all the things, but you have no energy to do all of the things, you're probably going to be stressed out. If you have no energy to do homework, it's going to be bad. You're going to turn in, you're not going to get a good grade. You're going to show up to practice and your energy is horrible. Well, that's not going to, that's not very good balance if your energy is poor, right? Or maybe you're too tired to go hang out with friends. And so you never have a social life. That's not okay. So in order to do all of the things we talked about, you have to manage your energy. You have to make sure that you have the energy to do all of the things that you want to do and that you need to do. So two of the most obvious ways to manage your energy and to have more energy, number one is sleep. So that's why I'm saying don't use social media like, oh, I just, I'm going to use it till midnight because I didn't get to use it during the day. No, that defeats the whole purpose. So sleep especially as a teenager, sleep is the most important thing for your energy, for your test performance, for your physical performance. Like if you're not getting sleep, everything's going to fall apart. So you have to make sure that sleep is the cornerstone. Sleep is the foundation of everything else. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Make sure you're getting quality sleep. And a big part of that is not using social media as you're laying in bed, trying to fall asleep. That's like the worst way to fall asleep. Okay. And then the other thing, obviously, is nutrition, 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 nutrition. So when you're in school, it's a little bit harder to uh, control your nutrition because schools, as far as I know, don't provide the best nutritional options. So first thing, choose the best thing they have if you're someone that eats at school or even better, maybe is making your own lunch 
bringing your own snacks, especially if you're in high school and you have practices right after school. Like I'll tell you, one of the, the, the biggest, another pet peeve of mine is when kids show up to practice and I'm like, when's the last time you ate? You look really tired. Like, oh, I ate at lunch at like noon and it's like four o'clock. I'm like, you need to eat something. Like you got to make sure that you have snacks with you. You have healthy snacks with you, not, not Takis and Cheetos and, you know, stuff like that, but have healthy snacks that you can pack with you. So that if you have practice right after, or so if you, you know, get hungry in your last period, you're able to have something so that when you get home, you're not like drained and you just need a nap. All right, nothing wrong with naps, but make sure that you're taking care of your nutrition. If you need nutrition, I'm not going to go into what's right nutrition and what's wrong, because I have plenty of episodes on nutrition with actual experts. I'm not an expert in nutrition. I just use common sense. Um, So use your common sense, eat what you feel is right for your body, and that's going to help you manage your energy, which will help you manage your time. And when you do all of these things, you'll actually have more time to do the things you want to do. You'll have more time. You'll be less stressed. You'll be able to focus more on the things that matter. Where on the flip side, if you're not managing your your time, if you're not managing your energy, then you're probably not going to perform very well in school or your sport, or you're not going to have any kind of social life. So it's really important that you put these three things in place so that you can be happy, successful, stress-free, and confident in whatever you're doing. All right. I hope this episode helped you. If it did, share it with a teammate, share it with a friend. If you're a parent or coach listening, share it with your uh, your players or your daughter so that you can make sure that they are performing and feeling at their best as much as possible. All right. I will catch you on next week's episode.